Welcome everyone to my new YouTube channel, Sun Salutation Yoga and Nutrition Therapy. I'm so excited that you join me today. I am Susan Rosser, and I am the owner-operator of Sun Salutation Yoga and Nutrition Therapy. And we're located in the Rochester, New York area in a small town called North Chilai. Sun Salutation Yoga uh, I created to be a practice that everyone would be comfortable doing. It is uh, not uh, an Eastern style traditional yoga. I have put together uh, different styles of yoga and I've even thrown some Pilates in there. And it's uh, called Sun Salutation Yoga, S-O-N instead of S-U-N, because when I practice my yoga, I'm practic practicing and honoring uh, the bright morning star, Jesus Christ which is one of his names. Uh, the Eastern style traditional yoga believes that the sun in the sky is the center of the universe, whereby as a Christian, I believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the center of our universe. So this practice is devoid of any spirituality. I don't use Sanskrit terminology, just English terms. And it's a, a wonderful practice to get your body into shape, and uh, you'll feel comfortable doing it, whether you are, uh, wh whatever religion you are, really, it doesn't matter. So I hope that you will join me uh, when I upload my first practice, hopefully soon, on this channel. So please like the channel and subscribe the channel. And if you really want to know more about Sun Salutation Yoga, I do have a, a Facebook page and I have a website, sunsalutation.com. So you can check that out as well. Again, thank you for joining me. Bye, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so glad you joined me at my first Sun Salutation YouTube yoga class. I'm very excited to be doing this, and I hope you are too. This is going to be a short, uh, maybe 20-minute class um, of just basic poses. We'll get into the sun salutations and into the warrior poses, some nice stretches for the upper back and shoulders and hips because that's where we all tend to carry a lot of our stress in the day. So this would be a great practice to start your day or even a great practice to end your day. So let's get started. Let's come to the top of our mat and let's take the big toes to touch. So just look down, open up the toes nice and wide. Press them down, pull the shoulders up, inhale, exhale, pull the shoulder blades together, walk them down the back, and come into a nice strong mountain pose. Reaching the arms down, and just close your eyes here. Now let's get the breath going. The breath is the most important part of our practice. So deep, deep inhale. Hold for maybe four seconds. And then exhale through your mouth for a cleansing breath. And then this time, inhale the arms up. Then exhale, palms together. Bring the palms down in front of you to prayer. And then inhale here. And then exhale again through the nose. Inhale, hold, and then exhale. These breaths that we take are going to carry us through our practice. It's going to allow us to hold our poses and get deeper and deeper into those practices, into those strong poses that we like to do. So let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. So you're going to come to forward fold. Bend your knees here if you need to. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Let the head drop down. And then from there, just heel toe the feet, hips width apart. And then grab a hold of your opposite elbows. 
and let your head just hang down. Let the back begin to elongate here. Inhaling, exhaling. And pulling that belly into the spine and up towards the heart. And it's a, if it's available, go ahead and begin to straighten the legs here as much as you can. Allowing the spine to get longer and longer. And just breathe. And then slowly just release your hands. And then you're going to inhale, press on the shins, pull the shoulders away from the ear. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Pull the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then heel toe the feet back together. Big toes to touch. Inhale, lengthen. Coming all the way up, reaching the arms up. And then exhale to prayer. And let's just take a few more breaths here. Breathing. And let's go through a series of sun salutations. So reaching the arms up, inhale. And then exhale, forward fold. Nice long spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then bend your knees and step back to plank. So if you are um, intermediate to advanced, this is your plank. If you're beginner yoga, you want to take the knees down keeping that nice long spine. Otherwise, go ahead and take the knees off. We're going to inhale. And then exhale, lowering down, keeping the elbows close to the body, and come all the way down. Right, plus, placing your hands next to your chest. Inhale to baby cobra. Exhale down. And then inhale back to a quick child pose. And then exhale, go ahead and curl the toes up and come into Downward Facing Dog. Breathing here in Down Dog. Maybe two full breaths here. Pressing into the palms, pressing the heels down. Maybe bend your knees and lift your hips a little higher and then press the heels down. Inhale. And then exhale, look at your hands, and then just step between your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, reaching the arms up. And then exhale, come back to prayer. I adjust my little top here. We do that sometimes in yoga, don't we? And let's repeat that. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, stepping back to your plank, whether it's on the toes or the knees. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to your cobra. And then exhale, child pose and down dog. Breathing here. Pull the shoulder blades towards each other. Pull the belly in. And then bend your knees. Look at your hands. Walk, step, or jump between your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen again. Coming all the way up. And exhale to prayer. So I'm going to speed that up a little bit. You, you decide if you want to do a full um, push up down and come into upward facing dog or if you want to go all the way down to the mat, that's your choice. So we're going to inhale the arms up, exhale fold, inhale lengthen, 
Exhale, fold, stepping back to your plank. Exhaling down. I'm going to do an upward dog. Inhaling to upward dog. And then exhale, rolling over the feet, pull the belly in, and come to downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Spread the toes wide. And then inhale. Bend your knees, look at your hands, and step between your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, reaching the arms up. And go ahead and fold again, exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees and step back to plank. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhale down. Inhaling to up dog. And then exhale, down dog. Take a couple of breaths in down dog. Maybe paddle through your feet. Breathing. Open up those shoulders. Press into the hands. Deep inhale and then exhale. Step between your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, reaching the arms up. And exhale to prayer. Beautiful. We're going to go from there into the sun B. They call them sun B. We're going to do some warrior poses here. So let's inhale and come to chair pose. So in chair pose, you should be able to see your toes. Look down, lift them off the mat. Weight is in the heels. So you can go a little lower, pull the pelvis under you, lift the arms up higher. Inhale and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and step back to your plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lowering down. Inhaling to your cobra or your up dog. And then exhale, down dog. And breathe here. Now bring the big toes to touch. And go ahead and reach the right leg up. Inhale. Keeping the hips square. And then exhale, open up that hip by opening up that right knee and reaching it up towards the ceiling. Breathing here. Straightening that right knee. Inhale. And exhale, bring it through into plank. And step your foot right by your right hand. If it doesn't get there right away, just pick up your foot and move it. Drop that left knee down, or left heel down, and you're coming to warrior one. So you have a nice strong foundation. Your hips are square. Your back outer edge of that foot is flat. You're going to reach the arms up. This is warrior one. Breathe in here. Inhaling and exhaling. Now go ahead and cactus your arms so that the shoulder blades are coming towards each other. Pull the belly in and up. Inhale. Reaching up. Exhale. Come forward. And step back to down dog. Breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling. Big toes to touch. And then go ahead and lift the left leg up. Inhale. And then exhale, open up that hip by bending that left knee and lifting that left knee up towards the ceiling. Pressing evenly into both hands. And then go ahead and straighten the left leg. Squaring the hips, inhale. And exhale, bring it through and place your foot right by your left hand. Drop that right heel down, get a nice strong foundation keeping the knee right over the ankle, pressing into the outer edge of that right foot, hips are square. Pull the belly in and up. Reach your arms up. Breathing here. 
Nice, strong foundation, really pressing in to the feet. Pulling the legs in towards each other to the center line. And then go ahead and just pull the shoulder blades towards each other and cactus your arms. Inhaling and exhaling. Reaching the arms up, inhale. And exhale, fold over that left leg. And come back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, down dog. Now you can skip the, uh, the vinyasa there and just go into down dog if that works better for you. Bending your knees, look at your hands, and step between your hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair. And exhale, stand. Coming into prayer. Beautiful. We're going to do that again. You may go a little faster this time. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, come into chair. So chair should be a little easier this time. Reaching the arms, hips come back. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, stepping back to plank. Or not, you can skip the, this part if you want to. Go right into down dog, if that's better for you. Inhale, up. And then exhale, down dog. Big toes to touch. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, reach that right knee up, opening the hip. And then straighten the leg again. Inhale. And exhale, bring it through. Drop in that left heel down. Inhale the arms up, warrior one. And then exhale to warrior two. So I'm going to switch. But you can see me, my right leg is still in front, and just look down. The right heel should be in line with the left arch of the foot. The left outer edge of that foot should be pressing down. Pull the belly in and up, reaching the arms out. Warrior two. Pull the shoulder blades down. Breathing. Maybe go a little deeper. Flipping that right palm up, inhale, and exhale, take reverse warrior. Breathing in reverse warrior. Pulling that belly in and up. And from there, straighten the right leg into reverse triangle. Inhale, and as you exhale, pressing the left hip out, reach over that right leg, and place your hand on top of your right foot, your ankle, if it's better for you to be up here, whatever works for you. And then reach that left arm up. Maybe you can even take your right hand and place it on the outside of the right ankle. Feel as though you're between two panes of glass here. Pull the belly in. Inhale and exhale there. And then bending back into the right knee, let's come into warrior two. And then cartwheel the arms down. And come into a plank. And come into your top of a push-up or go right into down dog. Inhaling up dog if you're doing that. And then exhale, reaching the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale there. Couple of breaths. Bring the big toes to touch again. And then this time reach that left leg up, really flexing the foot. Bending that left knee, reach that left knee up towards the ceiling, pull the belly in. Inhale and exhale there, and then go ahead and straighten the left leg, squaring the hips. Inhale. And exhale, bring it through. And you're going to take warrior one on this side. 
reaching the arms up. Inhaling and exhaling here. Now I'm going to switch sides again. My left leg is in front. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Maybe go a little deeper here. Breathing. Reaching. Flipping that left palm and reach it back. Reverse warrior. Straightening your leg. Reverse triangle. And then reaching forward, inhale. Reaching that right hip back and come right into triangle. Reaching the right arm up. And breathe here. Inhaling and exhaling. Bending back into the left knee. Coming back to warrior two. And then just go ahead and cartwheel the arms down. And you decide if you're going to go through the full vinyasa. Inhaling up. And then exhale, down dog. Breathing in down dog. Just breathing and allowing your body to just take in what you just did. Inhaling and exhaling. And then come into plank. So really rolling into plank. Drop your knees down. Big toes to touch, let the knees come out. And come into child pose. Breathing here. And then from there, take the right arm and reach it underneath your left arm. Turning your head to the left. Really stretching the shoulders here. Breathing. Your right palm should be facing up. And then go ahead and reach the left arm up towards the ceiling, pressing into the right arm to open up the chest. Releasing the left arm back down. Coming back into child pose. And we'll take that, that stretch on the other side. So reaching the left arm underneath the right, left palm facing up, breathing. And you can stay here. This is enough for you. Just stay here. If you want a little bit more, reach that right arm up. Reaching behind you. Open the chest. Pressing into the left arm. It's a great stretch for that left shoulder. And then go ahead and exhale. Put the right arm back down again. Breathing here. Now coming to all fours, placing the palms underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers nice and wide. And we're going to kind of wake up our abdominals here, okay? So inhale, exhale, inhale, and as you exhale, press into the tops of the feet and lift the knees off the mat, really engaging the core here. Breathing. And then release down. Right into cat cow. So take cow, flexing your feet. Head comes up, belly drops. Inhale. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale. Back into cow. Exhale, round the spine, looking at your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then from there, 
Just flop the hands out and then tuck the toes and lift your hips up to down dog again. Breathe in, down dog. Breathe in, down dog. I didn't expect this to be hot yoga, everyone. My, my yoga room here is very hot. I don't like air conditioning, so I didn't turn it on today. It's a nice, strong, strong downward facing dog. Take the left foot in towards the right, the right in towards the left, and reach that right leg up. Inhale. And then exhale, bring that knee, right knee, behind the right wrist. For a wonderful, wonderful hip stretch here. You can stay here if this works for you. Pulling the shoulders together, pulling them away from the ears. Nice long spine. Inhale. And exhale here. Or you can go a little further and come on to the forearms here. Breathing here. If you have any blocks, you can place your block right on your mat in front of you and just place your forehead there. And just hang out with your right hip. Pull the belly in and up. And allow those tissues to soften and unwind. Flexing the right foot is very important. It protects the knee. Breathing here. And then go ahead and walk your hands back up. And move the block if the block is in the way. And we're going to just take the left leg and bring it around. And place that left foot. I'm going to turn and face the camera so you can see. You're going to take that left foot and place it right on the outside of the right knee. Flexing the right foot behind you. And what I want you to do is take your right arm up, inhale, and then exhale, grab a hold of that left leg and pull it in towards your chest, bringing that chin and shoulder in alignment. Take the left arm, inhale, and exhale, the, uh, set it behind you. Now before you do any twisting, inhale, get some length. And then exhale from the belly, Begin to twist towards the left. The head is the last thing to come around. And look over your left shoulder. Breathing here. Releasing that twist. Nice and tall. Uncross that left leg. And we're going to come right back into down dog. So find yourself back in down dog. Maybe paddle through your feet, let that wash off a little bit. That great stretch you just did. Inhaling, exhaling. Keeping the breath going. And then next, reach that left leg up. Inhale. And then exhale, bring that left knee in. And put it right behind the left wrist. Reach that right leg back. You want to flex the left foot. Maybe some of you, your foot's going to be down closer to your hip. It depends on where you are and your flexibility. And then place your hands. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale if you want to go down further. Go ahead and come to the forearms here. Pulling the shoulder blades towards each other. Pull the belly in. I kind of like to do a little bit of a sphinx pose here. It makes you pull the heart forward. Breathing. Letting that left hip unwind and soften. Again, you can take your block and put it here and set your head there. Or go ahead and bring your head, your forehead all the way down to the mat. Breathing here. Releasing that hip. Relax the facial muscles.
and let that hip just soften and unwind. When you're ready, and you can stay in these stretches as long as you want, you can pause the class, stay in a position, and then turn it back on again and join us. Let's go ahead and reach the right leg, bring it around, cross it over the left. So let's make sure both hips are anchored down. Left foot is flexed, right foot is pressing down into the mat. And then reach that left arm up, inhale. And then exhale, grab a hold of that right knee and pull it in towards your chest. Inhale the right arm up, exhale it behind you. And then nice long spine as you inhale and exhale. Turn to look over the right shoulder. Beautiful. Just wringing out the toxins from our body. And go ahead and unwind those legs. Flex your feet. Straightening the legs out in front of you. We're going to do a forward fold seated. Forward fold. So pray, play, place your hands next to your hips. Press into your hands. Pull the shoulders towards each other and down. Inhale and exhale there. Flex your feet so much that your heels are lifting off the mat. Inhale and exhale. I'm reaching the arms up, inhale. And then if you need to bend your knees, exhale and take your forward fold, nice and slow. Reaching wherever you can, whether it's your shins, if you're only here, that's fine. You find what works for you, but keep that spine nice and long. Inhale, lengthen it. And then exhale, bending the elbows. Belly pulls into spine. And bring your torso down towards your legs. Again, you can bend your knees as much or as little as you want. And if they are bent, try straightening them a little bit. Releasing your feet, inhale, and then exhale, chin to chest, and just gently roll yourself back up to staff pose. Breathing here. And from there, bend your knees. Make sure you have some space behind you. Reach your arms out in front of you. Inhale. And exhale here. Just sort of a modified boat. If you want to go into full boat, go right ahead. In the full boat, it would be to lift the feet off the mat and straightening your legs. I'm shaking a little bit. The muscles are working. Bringing the knees back in. Inhale. And then exhale ever so slowly. Roll yourself down. onto the mat. Pull the knees up and close to your, your feet close to your bottom. We'll take one bridge pose here. So really press the sacrum down, press into the feet, making sure that the knees are about hips width apart but don't let them flail in or out. Just keep them nice and straight parallel. You're going to inhale and then exhale, press into the feet and lift the hips. Maybe bring the shoulder blades under you. And you can stay here, you can bend your elbows here, pull the belly in. You can take the hands underneath you, clasp them together, really pressing into the arms. See if you can push yourself up a little higher. And breathe. There was a good crack in my left shoulder. When you're ready to come out, come onto your toes, reach your arms above your head, and then roll down one vertebra at a time. Bringing the knees into the chest, flexing your feet. Inhale and exhale. And make some nice circles. Just massaging the lower back. 
go in one direction and not the other. And then just spread the knees wide, flexing your feet, soles of the feet are pressing up towards the ceiling, grabbing the outer edges of your feet, we're going to do what's called happy baby. And then pressing the knees down towards the floor, but keeping the sacrum long and pressing against the mat. And breathe. Breathe as we wind down our practice. Releasing happy baby. Bringing both knees into the chest. Go ahead and straighten the left leg, flexing that foot. Keeping the right foot flexed and pull that knee right in towards the armpit. Inhale, exhale there. And then grabbing a hold of the outer edge of that right knee with your left hand, just roll that right knee over towards the left, reaching the right arm out, and turn your head towards the right arm. For a wonderful, wonderful stretch for the lower back. Breathing, letting the heart rate come down. Pull that right knee back in, both knees in, flexing the feet. Inhale, and then exhale, right leg goes straight. Left knee comes right in towards the armpit. Inhale, and exhale there. And then place your right hand on the outer edge of that left knee. Left arm comes out to the side. And take your twist. Turning the head towards the left arm. Keeping both shoulders on the shoulder blades on the floor. Breathing. Releasing. And then coming back with both knees into the chest. Inhale. And then exhale, just lift the chin right up to the knees. Really stretching the back. Then release everything down. Release the feet down. Let the feet be as wide as your mat and let them just flop open. Walk the shoulder blades down towards the hips. Let the palms be facing up as we go into restorative pose. This is the time where your body can just resonate with all that you've just done for, for your body with these stretches. We're going to take a deep, deep inhale. Feel the lungs right down into the belly. And let it go. Closing your eyes. Take one more deep cleansing breath. And then just let your breath be normal. Don't try to manage it. Just let your body melt into your mat. See if you're holding on to anything and let it go. Maybe turn your head from side to side, releasing the neck, the shoulders, release your face. And just breathe. Now if you have time, I suggest you stay in restorative pose for at least five minutes. So you can go ahead and pause this video. And if you're ready, I want you to bend up your knees. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, roll onto your right side, cradling your head, your right arm. A couple of breaths here. 
and then go ahead and press into the left palm and bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Now I always suggest crossing your legs the opposite way that you normally do. So my right leg is always in front, but I'm going to on purpose put my left leg in front, but that's your choice. Placing your hands on your knees, inhale the shoulders up, exhale the shoulder blades together, walk them down. Open up the arms, inhale, and I'm going to exhale and bring my left arm underneath my right. So if your right arm is, or your right leg is in front, put your right arm underneath. Into eagle arms. And then grab a hold of your back as best you can. Give yourself a hug here. Press the elbows together. Inhale and exhale. Open the arms up. Exhale them down. Switch the cross of your legs. So now my right's going to go in front. Make sure that you're right on the sit bones. So pull the flesh away. Inhale the arms out. And then exhale. My right arm's going to go underneath because my right leg is in front. Start out with the eagle arms like this. Inhale and exhale. And then just grab a hold of your shoulders giving yourself a hug. Press the elbows together. Inhale and exhale. Releasing and just come to prayer. Inhale. Exhale. Many, many blessings to all of you. And I thank you for joining me this afternoon for Sun Salutations Yoga's first YouTube class.